on my phone's being stupid. But anyway, I'm gonna put a little glug of soap on the ground or on the thing, and then I'm gonna take this is if you have a brush one, and I'm just gonna take that and scrub it against the floor. As you can see, it's kind of starting to turn a little bit yuckyish color. It's like a little bit. This one's pretty clean. I haven't used it in a long time. I was just using it for the demonstration. But yeah, if it's like, if, like, come winter, if I do this, it's going to be absolutely horrible. So, I'm going to just take it and rinse it off. And under your drain plug. Yeah, make sure you just rinse it off really well. Sorry. Okay, and this is another thing. So, tap, get most of that water out, tap it on here, dry your handle. And this is another really good thing you use your Q-tips for. Hey, I'll be able to hold it. Use your Q-tips and clean out, like, the inside, like, whatever you can. That's what I do. And you can take, and you could, um... Use some rubbing alcohol to really get everything off if you're really wanting a deep, good, sanitized clean with actual pick. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're kind of nasty. I guess not really nasty, but they're dirty. They're quite dirty. Okay, so yeah, I'm not really too worried about my hoof picks. My horses don't, they've never had thrush or anything. And they're relatively clean. And everybody's. We got two and two hoof picks that way. If one of them did have thrush, we could just pop out another one. So I'm going to slip that over there with everything else. Okay, next up is treating it as if it were a leather one. So what I'd do is I'd set. Well, first, I'm going to clean my tub out. This one you'd want to use a little colder than lukewarm so you use kind of cold dish water don't use like really really hot okay so i'm not going to worry about a splashing range if i really cared i would make sure double check is that a splashing range okay so i'm just going to slowly fill up the tub with water we'll keep that over there and I get the bristles right and kind of just very carefully start doing this. It'll be a little deeper. And this water's probably going to get a little dirty too. So I do the same thing. Just try to be a little less splishy splashy about it. That way you're not getting your top really wet or anything. And depending on what kind of bristles you have, these are all, all mine are synthetic. Um, if you have a non-synthetic, don't apply the soap directly to the brush. You want to, okay, I'll show you here in a sec. You want to want to apply, or I guess not apply. Oops, anyway, sorry. Don't do that either. Put a plug of soap in the water and spread it around like we did. I don't know where it went. And spread it around like we did. And then dry your hand off, but I'm not going to. And then do that again. They're a little harder to clean, obviously. And if you had a little less water, like if you had a sink, it would be a little easier and the soap would be more effective. And then you would just rinse it very, very carefully. Make sure you have everything out. And But since this is really a crap, or not a synthetic brush, I'm going to clean it really good. Nice thing about synthetic. So I'm just going to clean the crap out of all my brushes because it's getting winter time. You can do these. You can clean your brushes whenever, really. But some, it's just like I just clean mine when they get dirty. So... As you can see, we're starting to get a little soap. 
but yeah. And you can also scrub just on plain, like damp fish. That's another good way. And you can see that it's coming out kind of dirty. So that'll help clean your brushes out quite a bit. So that is how you clean your brushes. Thanks for watching. Bye.